Hey everybody, Johan Magnussen here, Big Sweet Barbecue, and today we're making a roast pheasant with a wild mushroom ragu on a Memphis wood fire grill. The first thing that we want to do is prepare the pheasant before we throw it on the grill. So here are the steps. You want to take the pheasants out of the brine and let them dry for an hour or so. Then you want to cut the pheasants in two and rub it all over with an herb butter. We use sage, rosemary, and thyme. Try to get some under the skin as well. Now we need to set up the Memphis wood fire grill, 375 degrees. Then we're gonna place the pheasant skin side down and cook for about 20 minutes. You wanna baste it every 10 minutes or so. Then we're gonna turn the pheasant skin side up and continue roasting and basting until you reach an inner temperature in the thigh of 160 degrees. Now, while the pheasant is roasting, it's time to prepare the wild mushroom ragu. In a large deep skillet, heat olive oil and then add the pancetta. You want to stir until golden, about five minutes, and then remove the pancetta from the plate. Now it's time to add mushrooms to the skillet. I use a combination of chanterelles, oyster, and shiitake mushrooms. You want to cook this over high heat and stir occasionally until lightly brown and soften, about eight minutes. Then you want to add shallot and thyme and cook, stirring until the shallot is softened. Then you want to add about a quarter cup of Madeira and a quarter cup of reduced beef broth. Now you want to cook this until almost evaporated. Last but not least, stir in some heavy cream, season with salt and pepper, and simmer until the ragu is thickened. Two to three minutes. And just before serving, you want to stir in the pancetta. And that is how you make a roast pheasant with a wild mushroom ragu on the Memphis Woodfire Grill. Now, if you like this recipe, please subscribe to Memphis Woodfire Grill's YouTube channel or check out their website, www.memphisgrills.com, for more recipes like this. And I think the only thing left for me to do is to try this and see what it tastes like. It smells amazing. Rich, earthy, super flavorful. I hope you try this at home. Happy grilling.